Okay, straight up. On this trail, but good amount of head thing. Here comes the rocks. Oh! Little bush slap. Woo! What have we got here, Sally? The Cobra. Probably the most thick uh, trail here, but it's not hard. Just a little bit more rocky, tighter corners, but yeah, pretty pretty good. This is stage four, EWC round two, 2021 course previews, powered by Giant Bicycles. And I'm leading this one. Yeah. Because I'm on the smaller rig and there are a few spicy rock sections here. I'm worried if Sully leads me on the big bike, he's gonna smash, smash, smash. And then while I'm trying to smash, 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 I'm gonna smash, smash, smash the carbon rims. Uh, so probably a safer bet that I lead out this one and take it easy to prevent um, any severe damage on the small tires. Yeah. yeah. The Cobra, it is the most technical trail here, uh, but it's manageable. And if you're not feeling comfortable, walk it. Get out here, check it out, pay your day license uh, or your membership if you're on it. Yeah, Tigerberg. Yeah, let's go get it. I like it. All right, let's take on the Cobra. See if J Dog can dish Sully on the small bike. In my opinion, this will be the hardest trail of the day. A, it's got the most tech, but also B, it has <laughs> quite a bit of pedaling. So, uh, second longest trail of the day, 1.85 kilometers, 140 meters of drop. You basically got a series of flatter panel sections interspersed with 180 degree corners, and then some spicy rocks. A good amount of peddling on this one. You got no cool little features like those jumps, none of which are mandatory for you to enjoy. You are on the pedals. Soft section is basically corner, pedal, corner, and pedal. Which really can't take it out of you. Inside line here. Flows nicely. But other than that, pretty straightforward really. What you see is what you get until you get something else. Pump it, keep it smooth in the rocks there. Oh, J Dog's infamous corner duck. Sure, they clip that in. <laughs> Everything on this trail is like you can see what you're riding as you're riding it. Probably the fastest technical section here. Tidy in the rocks. You don't have to jump this, but it is pretty fun. Good. Oh, okay, straight up. And back on the pedal. Yeah, it's fun to jump that and set up for the corner, but it is quite technical. Give it a bash, see how you handle it. Really, if you keep it smooth, lights on your bike, nothing to worry about. Nice little gap jump. Jump up the corner and braking zones. I think the key with these corners break sufficiently before and they just flow through them. I've got that wrong before. Oh! left and high here, you want to roll in constantly with a bit of speed. Fun thing for speed on all these little rollers, getting those little gains. Set up nice and high. Oh, well, I was on the brakes there, I'm not going to lie. Now we get some good switchbacks. Get your braking done properly. Let go through the apex and making as little wide as possible setups. 
not the highest speed on this trail, but a good amount of piddling. Two twisty ones that can't catch you if you're coming hot. <laughs> I was on the wheel. Woo! A little bit of fun for the kiss and back on the pedals. So the low line sets you up a bit straighter there. Okay, yeah, this is the most technical section. I'm going to roll high on the rock and then go wide for the corner. <laughs> Here comes the rocks. I'll be on the inside there. There's a lot of loose rock there. On race day, we'll be carrying a lot more speed there. Then it can get quite rowdy. Rocks flying everywhere. And then we're almost there. Little bush slap. Woo! Last corner, which can get you if you're coming in hot. Okay, smash this corner and then easily get on the pedals. Last time the stage finished up here. There you have it. Finished up here last time, so be ready for a bit of a, a little crunch out the last corner. Get your gearing involved. That was clean.